Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today we are running a new circuit for a mini split system they're gonna put in the garage. So uh, I'm gonna come out, they just painted and everything. So instead of cutting more drywall, uh, I'm gonna come out and conduit and surface mount going across the wall here. And then once we get to the corner, I'm gonna pop outside, put the disconnect for the mini split so they can uh, get that hooked up and probably mount it somewhere up here. So I got my conduit here. Uh, I'm gonna be running 12 gauge UF wire, which is rated to be ran in this, and it's ready to be outside. Um, I got a disconnect for outside and breakers and other little pieces. So let's get started. Right here, I'm just using my stud finder to figure out where the studs are, so that way I can strap my conduit to the wall going down to the other side. I also want to say that I have virtually no video editing experience before I started making these videos. So if there's something that you guys think I can do better or different, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll definitely take it into account. Now that I have the wire pulled through, I'm fishing it up into the panel without cutting any more drywall. Like I said, they had just got this painted and sanded and everything, so I wanted to keep the drywall damage to an absolute minimum in this case. All right, so we got the conduit mounted going down the wall here, uh, perfectly straight all the way down, and got the wire into the panel here. I'm about to cut in the breaker side and then on the other side here uh, this goes outside to the exterior um, and i got the wire just stubbed out for now we're going to mount the disconnect out there and then once we have that they can install the mini split up here above the wall and just connect the disconnect to the mini split and it'll be sorted so let's get the breaker tied in and the disconnect connected. All right, we got the breaker done, so now I just need to mount this uh, disconnect and get it hooked up. Do not eat. So this disconnect can be used for 120 or 240 volts. So in our case, we only need 120 volts. So we're gonna hook our line on the outside, ground up to the ground. And then when they put the mini split in, the load will go on the inside load. And this is good for solid copper for the line, 14 through eight. I'm using 12, so I'm good to go.
I don't know if you can see this meter screen, but I got 125, zero, 125. So we are good to go. And I also wrote on here, the uh, they got doing the mini split nose already, but I just wrote on here, um, 120 volts, white equals neutral. Because in most cases on these disconnects, uh, the it'll be a 240 volt um, for like an HVAC system, for example. But in this case, we're just doing 120 volts. This gun. All right, I'll silicone around this, get it sealed up. Beautiful. So I seal the top and the edges, but I usually don't seal the bottom because if anything does get behind there, I want it to be able to have a way out. All right, so that is the job complete. They can now connect to this disconnect, put in the mini split, and have a heated and cold garage for their gym. So should be a nice little setup for them. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, so we got the conduit mounted uh, going down the wall here. Perfectly. <coughs> <coughs> oh, drywall. Mm.